you have a job, you know, and we all spend a lot of time there, but it's your job to take care of your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul, and your family. Being treated with respect means you can speak up. You can have ideas, you can speak up, uh, and every day you go to work, you feel good about when you walk in that front door. Why is it that when some people walk in a room, we all brighten up? Why is it when you really want advice, you call certain people? Why is it that some people you never would question what they say, and that some people you never would trust what they say? Jamie Dimon and his 10 Rules of Greatness. Check him out. Sometimes it's like five people in the room who come up with the idea. It isn't that one person. And sometimes it's cumulative. It's a, little, a lot of little things and you got a breakthrough. And so I think people, when you sit in a room, you have to talk about everything. People have to read stuff and thought about stuff and thought before they come in. You know, a lot of people, you know, sometimes they just, they just strategize, but some people have really thought about what the competition is doing. Traveling around the world, you get some fabulous ideas. You're going to spend your life learning. You know, I read four or five newspapers every morning. I read tons of stuff. I read everything that people send me. You're gonna learn, when you go out on the road, learn, learn, learn. You learn from clients, learn from competitors. You learn, when we meet with small business, you're always learning. And that could be a small thing that someone said, why did you do this? You said, my God, we should do that differently to a very large thing. The, the first thing I was worried about was my children, it wasn't about me. I just wanted them to grow up normal and not you know, arrogant and not thinking they're entitled. And, not, and I think I've succeeded, thank God. But that to me was always the word, don't screw up your family because you, you, know, you run this big company. And, uh, I, but I always tell people, it is, it is your job to take care of your, your if you have a job, you know, and we all spend a lot of time there, but it's your job to take care of your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul, and your family. And you've got to take that officially, so I do. I've always taken my vacations, I've always had my family trips, I always you know, cut something short for the family. This phone 24-7 is used for emergencies and children and my wife. That's it. You all know about IQ and EQ. Your IQs are all high enough to be very successful. Where people often fall short, it's on the EQ. And emotional intelligence is critical, and it's something you will develop over time, too. Matter, matter of fact, a lot of management skills are more EQ. How do people function? And when I look at EQ, I always think to myself, why is it that when some people walk in a room, we all brighten up? Why is it when you really want advice, you call certain people? Why is it that some people you never would question what they say, and that some people you never would trust what they say? And those are emotional skills and empathy, and, but you're a human being. You have these other things which we all have to develop all the time and work at them all the time. And they're things like passion, work ethic, character, integrity, and you're the sum of all of these things. Your IQ alone will not get you through the dark days or the tough times. You need to develop all these things and develop them consistently. We really do try to take care of our people, but I can't make up for you not doing those other things, and you really have to do it yourself. Most people don't work very smart. So first off, work smart. Now, I deal with emails and phone calls generally once. Okay? I have three types of reading. Very fast, fast, very slow. As, as so, you know, it's, I'm, and the very slow is the complex. I really need to think about it. The very fast might be a magazine. I just want to see the interesting in there or something like that. And, you know, you, people don't run their lives efficiently. And I'm sure you've seen, even in school here, you know, the people are frenzied. They're always frenzied. They're late. They can't get back. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. I couldn't get this done. I got my cases. I couldn't do this. If you're frenzied, it's you. It's not the school. It's not the job. It's you because a lot of us aren't frenzied. Most
I was not that disciplined. I, I didn't work as hard as my wife here, and I was a little lazy. And, but when I start working, uh, you have to be disciplined. Discipline is rigorous, detailed meetings. You do it consistently. You have to have a work ethic. It's like exercising or weeding the garden. You don't get there and stop. And the competition is always coming down. It's continuous improvement. You have to always be striving for improvement. Temper is a bad idea. Any decision man a temper, even treating people with temper, you, you know, you, 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 they, they're going to be careful why you walk in, what mood is he in, and stuff like that. You don't get the best out of people. And sometimes early in my life, people said, well, you know, it was a well-placed blow of anger. No, it wasn't. It was just a welling up of anger. And it usually clouded your judgment as opposed to... If you want to be a winner, then compare yourself to the best and acknowledge that it will never happen without hard work. Abe Lincoln used to say, good things may come to those who wait, but only those things left by those who hustle. If you want to be a leader, act like a leader. If you want to be respected and trusted, then demonstrate you deserve it by earning it every day. If you want to be known as honest, not telling lies is not sufficient. Don't even shave the truth. And make sure your friends and colleagues will always bring you back to earth when you, like we all do at times, are deceiving yourself. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, like, like have respect for people and uh, uh, be willing to change your job a little bit. Don't worry about your income level. You know, people focus, oh my God, my, I take that job, I love the people, but it's less money. You know what, sometimes it's the absolute right thing to do. So be a little bit of flexible in the job you take and try, you know, and you're, in your lifetime, you should be prepared to do a bunch of different things. Do you feel treated equally? There's not a special club, there's not two classes, there's one class of citizen, we're all going to the right place, and, you, and being treated with respect means you can speak up. You can have ideas, you can speak up, uh, and every day you go to work, you feel good about when you walk in that front door. Hopefully you learned something from Jamie Dimon. Hopefully you're interested in what he's done with his life and how successful he's become. Hopefully some of these things will resonate with you and you'll take on one, two, or all of these rules and implement their life. Or you'll learn from somebody else. If you can stand on their shoulders or learn from other people who've already accomplished things that you wanna accomplish, you will fast track your way to success. Here's to your success, take care.